Good morning. How are you doing, my little explorers? I hope you're doing well. It's science time and I want you to be ready to explore the world. Today we have a new lesson, so get ready. Get out some papers and pencil. Write the day and date. And let's go to the lesson of today. So today's lesson is going to be about reversible and irreversible changes. So look at the photo over here. What do you see? Well, what I see is a cup filled with juice and a an popsicle. So we're going to talk about reversible first. Reversible changes, let's call it. So what is reversible changes? Well, great question. Reversible changes means, for example, as you can see here, there's a popsicle, and that popsicle, when it melts, it will turn into juice the same where you see in the cup. But we can freeze that water, and it will turn back to the popsicle. That's called reversible changes, so it will repeat its cycle. When you melt, freeze, it turns back to its originals. So now we're going to move here to the egg. So once you crack an egg, you can't put it back to its shell. So you will have to cook it and it will digest in your body. And that's called irreversible changes. So it does not go back. So today's object objectives is that we can recognize the changes of materials Plus, we can differentiate between reversible and irreversible changes. So, please watch the introduction curtain video just to remind you about our materials. So, first, we're going to talk about reversible changes. As we said in the first picture, a, it's a change that can go forward and backward, so it can repeat itself. For example, as we said for the popsicle, we're going to give you for the ice cube. For example, like when you melt an ice cube, it turns to water. But when you put it back in the freezer, it will freeze and turn back to its original. Now, an irreversible change can't change and go backwards. It just goes forward. So, for example... Let's say we have some burning wood. Once you burn that wood, it will disappear into ashes and never come back. So here we're going to give you two examples about reversible and irreversible. So in the first picture, you see a boy blowing a balloon. Is it reversible or irreversible? Right, it's reversible. Correct. Why? Because we can take out the air inside the balloon and we can blow it back in again. In the, next in the next picture, we have a pencil that's being sharpened. As you see the sharpens of the pencil, it can't glue or stick back to it and it will become shorter each time you sharpen it. So it's called irreversible. It goes forward. So now we have some task options and on the following sides, you will see three different tasks, and if you want, you can choose one of them or two to complete. Or, if you're very well challenging, you can complete all of the tasks and do them all as well. So, our first task is to correct the underline, sorry, the correct answer. So, as I gave you the first example, I hope you know the answer for the burning wood. So, I'll give you some time to think. Now, burning wood is irreversible because, as I said, it will turn to ashes and never come back. Melted butter, butter, sorry, is reversible or irreversible? Give you timing to think. Correct. It's reversible because you melt it and you can freeze it and it will turn back. Breaking an egg, reversible or irreversible? Correct. It's irreversible. Because you can't put it back to its shell. Chopping a tomato, reversible or irreversible? Correct, it's irreversible. 
because you can't glue them or stick them back together. So our second task is to write the materials of which these things are made. A bake baking a cake is space change. You're right, it's irreversible because you can't unmix the ingredients. Melting a chocolate is space change. I'll give you time to think. You're right, it's reversible because when you melt it and then you can freeze it back again. So for our final task, you need a parent, your mom or dad or a maid to help you to put some water in a bottle and then put it in the freezer for three hours and write what ha happened after you took it out of the freezer. Finally, for our closure, just show me how creative you are by drawing an example of any changes, whether it's reversible or irreversible. So you can either draw a reversible picture showing us an example different than our diff the ones that we've shown you, or you can do a reversible. Or if you want to be a challenging, then put both or draw both. And finally, just don't forget to picture your answers and post them on your portfolio on Class Dojo. Thank you so much.